Minister of Travel in Fort Lauderdale could be underground. And today we're learning new details about Elon Musk's plan to put a tunnel from downtown to the beach. The mayor is also weighing in. Local 10's Ian Margul is live in Fort Lauderdale with the details. Ian. The La Solis Loop, that is what it is proposed to be called by the Boring Company. It would be that underground tunnel from downtown here to the beach. We are also now learning other places it could expand. Instead of your commute to the beach looking like this, the city of Fort Lauderdale wants it to look more like this, an underground tunnel from downtown to the sand. For years, Fort Lauderdale has been blessed with the popularity of people coming to the beach and wanting to visit. And it seems that our roadways have really only been designed for the 1960s and 1970s. We're finally getting our first look at the proposal given to the city by billionaire Elon Musk's Boring Company to bring Fort Lauderdale into the 21st century with what they're calling the La Solis Loop. The loop would shuttle passengers about two and a half miles underground in Tesla cars from downtown to Fort Lauderdale Beach in about three minutes. I think in and of itself is going to be a destination. People are going to want to come to Fort Lauderdale just to go through the tunnel. The proposal also shows some places the company company thinks the loop could be expanded, like Inter Miami's Drive Pink Stadium, the Fort Lauderdale Tri-Rail Station, Port Everglades, and even Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. As for how much it would cost, the company says it'll be one fixed price and that they'd cover any overages. We don't have an exact dollar amount just yet, uh, we're, but we're definitely looking under $90 million for the complete system. And this will be the beginning, I see, as, as a as a interconnecting network underground between the airport and the seaport and, and then down to the to the downtown Fort Lauderdale. The Oceanside Park, where I am standing right now, so right at the corner of Las Solas and A1A, this is one of the proposed spots for a stop. They are hoping to break ground in 2022. They say six to eight months after that groundbreaking is when they should finish. If you want to see the full 29-page proposal, we have it on our website, local10.com. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Ian Margo.